most of the forms of congenital heart disease that we operate on can get operated on very safely and very expediently. There has been an amazing improvement in surgical techniques in the last 20 years and even for the more complex and severe forms of heart disease now we can usually do something. There are some forms of heart disease where the heart lesion can actually be corrected but there will be some at the severe end of the spectrum where they can't be corrected but surgery can be performed to allow the heart to work to allow the child to survive for as long as possible. Now we may not expect a normal lifespan for these babies but they could have a reasonable quality of life with such operations. Heart operations are generally done through an incision, a cut that runs down to the front of the chest. That's the commonest way that we expose the heart so that we can repair the heart defect. An incision in the front of the chest will leave a scar which will grow with the child and will be present throughout the child's life. Most scars actually will heal up to be a fairly thin white line. When they come in for the operation, they will be meeting the surgeon, they'll be meeting the anaesthetist, and then they'll also be meeting the team from the paediatric intensive care unit. And it's quite common for the parents on the evening before the operation to go and have a paediatric intensive care unit visit. I personally will take parents to the intensive care unit if their baby is actually going to be having open heart surgery within those few days after birth then I'll show them photographs so they know what to expect. There's lots of tubes and wires in intensive care and it's such a shock for parents to see those so if they've prepared themselves before they do find that it does help and when they see other parents there they do realise that people are going through exactly the same experience as them.